It's Mac Pro Day. Mac Pro Day. So what we're going to do is upgrade this awesome Mac Pro mid-2010 uh, dual Xenon processor um, Mac Pro and we're going to upgrade the RAM from 8 gigs to 16 gigs with a 1 terabyte Toshiba OCZ TR150 960 gigabyte SSD. So first thing we're going to do here is do the RAM. So you press these two slots, pull it out, this whole tray will come out. And you have your 8 RAM place to put your RAM. Um, I think you could see it. I mean, Mac Pro is, this is an awesome, really good design. I mean, I really like it. It looks awesome. Looks pretty futuristic for, um, for a computer back in 2010. So, anyways, pop in your RAM. Still have two more slots if they want to upgrade later, and all you do is slide it right back in. Um, I already blew these out, so I'm just doing this for the video, but I used uh, two cans of air, duster, just to blow out everything on this machine. It has a, a Radon uh, 5470, I think. I can't remember, 5450. It's got a decent card, I guess. One gigabyte of RAM on it. Um, I might upgrade that card later or um, upgrade the card and get like a get one of the stock cards that it comes with just a cheap card um, instead of flashing a new card <clears throat> but this is used for video editing so anyways so this has two drives already installed here, so I already did a time machine backup, um, and I'm going to take out the data drive just so I don't lose any data, and probably use carbon copy to um, do a carbon copy of the drive. And where I'm going to install the drive is in the optical bay because they're only just using one DVD drive. So there's another SATA spot here with power to SATA. Very easy. Just plug it in. Slide it in, plug in your A SATA, oh. <clears throat> what the heck, being a bugger. Out again and put it back in. There you go. Nice and easy. I mean, if you want to get some Velcro or something, Velcro it to the to the tray, or just leave it, man. It's an SSD driver. There's no moving parts. You know it's there. It's pretty hard to break. Um, it's fine in here. This is a freaking aluminum case, so just leave it. So that's really about it for installing an SSD into the optical bay um, on a Mac Pro. If you want to get 
you know, be have it look cool, or if you have to put it into one of these hard drive bays, they sell a icy dock for like between seven to fifteen bucks shipped on Amazon, <clears throat> and you could put that in there. Um, they have dual two and a half inch icy dock uh, docks that you could use as well, just to add more more drives. Um, I believe they have a quad two and a half drive bay as well and then OWC makes one that looks like this but it's blue which is fancy so but if you want to just do it real quick if you have an extra bay open um, in your optical drive then put it in there so I'm going to boot this up lock it Boom. Got my fancy Adesso keyboard or mouse. So this now has 8 gigs of RAM <coughs> and a secondary SSD. It's still booting off of the uh, 7200 RPM Western Digital Black Drive, one terabyte drive that's in here. Not readable. Oh, she has this on here. Let's initialize the disk and format it. So, Toshiba, let's erase it. So right now, disk utility opened and said it wasn't initialized. I, I said initialize disk, and then um, disk utility opens, and it'll come up to here. Basically, you want to click on the Toshiba drive or whatever the name of your SSD drive is, and then you want to click erase and name it um, the size of your SSD. So I'll make sure I was still recording. I don't even know if you can see up here. It's probably too far. Shit. Let me put this camera somewhere else. I'll be right back. Okay, when you install the uh, disk, it's going to say it's not initialized, so I bring you to the disk utility, um, look for your SSD drive, which is the Toshiba, so if you have a SanDisk or Samsung, you should see it there, <clears throat> and then click Erase, which is up top, it's autofocus, and um, then it's going to prompt you to name it and format. Just do Mac OS Journal um, and the GUID. 
scheme. So we'll click erase. And now it is formatted. Stupid program, stitch program is on here. And now you see it says one terabyte SSD. So we're gonna close the disk utility and we're gonna open carbon copy. Go to your finder applications folder, carbon copy cloner. Well, damn. Uh, we're gonna use the trial. And let's use advanced settings. Clone. Dump it on her. Let's see here. Use simple settings. Can I just clone? Oh, source. The shit. Source is your drive, and destination is the new SSD. And let's clone it. Let's see how long this might take. It's only going to clone 100 gig or 96 gigs. So that is going pretty fast. So I'm thinking it's probably going to take under 20 minutes. So I'll get back to you right now. It is 9.58 p.m.